Hello guys, S2W here as your average consumer with your casual consumers review. Here with another collaborative sneaker exchange pair of sneakers on one of Adidas's neck turning shoe. The second version to this model with updated qualities and the first silhouette of the second version. These are the Adidas NMD City Sock 2, short for NMD CS2, by Kith and Naked. For those who don't know, Sneaker Exchange is a new concept that was launched in January this year of 2017 by Adidas Consortium, where Adidas worked with two different well-known stores or brands to design and create one project together, consisting of two shoes. In this launch, Adidas with multifunctional lifestyle brand Kith and female-oriented fashion establishment Naked together became a part of this installment from this year's Sneaker Exchange program. And through this collab, they have created two NMD City Sock, while also marking the launch of the first NMD City Sock version 2 in the market. One of this City Sock that they created was in a khaki colorway with a gum also at the bottom, and also a silver shading to the text branding, while for the other pair that I have here today is the pink colorway. Design-wise, the City Socks are a very simple yet clean looking pair of shoes with a minimalistic vibe. Like its name, Adidas wanted to create a sock fitting shoe for the city, lifestyle, and casual wears, which features the main point of this sneaker, there's no lacing. It's literally made as a quick slip-on shoe for you to wear that you can take off immediately as well. And here we have the first Adidas updated model of the City Sock 2s in the form of a collab by Kith and Naked here that we have for a review. Have to comment on this though, plus one to this clean looking and actually sturdy shoe box. Now let's take a closer look at these sneakers. First up, they just look simple, clean, and warm looking. In all honesty, the collab for this City Sock 2 by Kith and Naked both look very smooth, calm, and gentle. The pink on this pair of City Sock 2 is actually a mixture of a few different level shades of pink intertwined together, almost like a strawberry cheesecake mixture of colors. For the spring and summer months, this pair of City Sock 2 will go so well with the new season because it's a bright color that can relate so much to the warmer seasons. On the lateral side, unlike the first City Socks, these have a design where the front curves out wrapping the inner fabric that curved in, much like a burrito. To me for some reason, this part of the design looks like something I would find on some type of traditional Japanese garment. Maybe a kimono? I can't put my fingers on it but it certainly looks like it was inspired by some kind of traditional pieces. On the medial side, nothing much is here but the pink one-piece knit upper that seamlessly wraps around our feet for an enhancing fit. It's worth to note that the collar is higher up on this end than the kimono collar on the lateral side. This knit upper is made out of prime knit, and for the newer viewers, prime knit is Adidas's innovative knitting technology, where the knit is notable for its flexibility, ventilation, and lightweight properties. The knit on these NMD City Sock 2s feel quite thick actually just like its predecessor NMD CS1s. I have to say for this particular model of CS2, the knit is not as stretchy as the first city sock, which is something to keep in mind of. And of course, Adidas's Boost Midsole, popular for its comfort and springy properties, much like walking on soft pillows. But on NMDs, we all know that the Boost is pretty much muted by the EVA plugs. Following suite of the NMD R2s, instead of the two regular EVA plugs found on the lateral side of the NMD version 1s, you will now only see 8 stripes embossed into the Boost midsole of this sneaker where the back block used to be, while on the medial side, the back EVA plug is enlarged. The block also stick out upwards, much like the plug on the NMD R2s. At the top of this sneaker, a lengthy leather strip is attached dead center on the upper material of this shoe. There are also three rose golden stripes running down the leather, signifying Adidas's hallmark branding for this sneaker. Near the collar area of these CS2s, you will see the Adidas Consortium staple see-through hole punch on both pair of the shoes, and their respective branding at the tip of the strip of soft leather. On the right pair, we have Naked, while on the left, the letters are F, which implies Ronnie Fage, the founder of Kith. If we turn the sneaker around and flip over this piece of leather, there's an additional Adidas Trefoil logo in rose gold here as well for the extra branding. Also this strip of leather is literally stitched right on top of the upper, so you don't have to worry about anything scratching the bridge of your feet because it's all soft prime knit inside. At the back of the shoes, we have the iconic pull tab found on all the NMD lines, which helps putting on the sneaker more easily. And well, basically for aesthetic purposes. For this collab version, the tab is made out of the same soft leather that was attached to the upper. On the right pair, we will see the text branding of Naked, while on the left pair, we have Kith's branding in rose gold again. It's also interesting to see that the text here reads left and right asymmetrically. It's a simple design, but the thoughtful intention to allow people to read their brandings at different angles was a very smart thing of them to do. Inside a sneaker, we will see something interesting here, at least for me because it's my first NMD collab that I own. 
They did not come with an insole, regular for NMD models, but instead of the common non-removable felt-like fabric that lays on top of the boost material, they added this textile fabric that covers the whole midsole instead. You will see the brand's respective brandings here on each shoe as well. In addition, the word consortium with the consortium handshake all around this non-removable fabric too. If we take a look at this internal heel region, we will see that they reinforce the majority of the knit material here with some type of material. And by hand, it feels plasticky, like synthetic leather. This material extends to the lower region of the midfoot area, giving the whole shoe additional structure and durability, and giving us that extra stability and lockdown, preventing our feet from sliding off the midsole of the sneaker. Because as you know, it's literally only a piece of fabric wrapping around our feet. I'll take any reinforcement I can get to make this shoe a bit more sturdy. Flipping the shoes over, we can see the familiar also of the NMDs, but this also looks more like the NMD R2s that are out in the market right now. The rubber also have a waffle pattern pretty much on the whole area of this also, with Adidas's extra logo and text branding right at the middle. Anyways, here are some Adidas NMD City Sock 2 by Kith and Naked Fit footage. Fit-wise, I would suggest you to buy these at the size of your NMD Prime Knits, which a lot of people go half size down from their true to size if you have narrow feet. This size I have here is my true to size, as I'm a wide footer and I always like to put an insole in my NMDs. To me, they actually feel a tiny bit more roomier than the Adidas NMD R1 PKs, but overall on my foot proportion, both shoes feel more or less alike. Comfort wise, the Boost midsole is definitely more cushioned than the NMD R1s or City Sock 1, likely due to the removal of the two plugs on the lateral side. It's interesting though because on my NMD R2 review, the plug on those felt uncomfortable for me because they rise up so much and digs deep into my feet. I was honestly worried about this same plug problem on this City Sock 2, but surprisingly, the plug didn't hit me that much on this model. I have a feeling it's because these City Sock 2s have a bit wider heel portion, so the EVA plug hitting my feet on the narrow NMD R2s is a lot less forceful here on the CS2s. Again, this shoe is made out of prime knit, but the prime knit is quite thick. Also in addition to the premium leather strip on the upper, it minimalizes the ability for the knit to stretch at the top. It still fits comfortably, but don't expect them to be as flexible as the NMD R1 or R2 Prime knits. Maybe the future general release of City Sock 2s will have a more elastic knit to them, as those for sure don't have this strip of leather on top, so who knows. Price wise, they were 210 USD or $290 here in Canada before tax. They actually released worldwide tomorrow, March the 11th of 2017. This pair I have was actually bought from Kith and I was able to buy them a week early, but shipping from the states took 4 days to get to where I live, Toronto, Ontario of Canada. The reason I bought this Adidas City Sock 2 collab by Kith and Naked was because even though many leaked images of future City Sock 2 were released, none of them had a design I personally liked, and this collab by far was my most favorite City Sock 2 so far aesthetic and color wise. Also because of the Kith Ultra Boost I bought, I fell in love with pink and truthfully, these City Sock 2 in pink look really nice both in person and in pictures. Can't pass these up. But I have to say though, the leather strip on the upper, when we're wearing the shoes, it bends. It doesn't really bother me that much, but I'm not really that big of a fan of that look. As always, throw me some likes if you liked the video and let me know in the comments which leaked City Sock 2s are your favorite. Or for those who are watching at a time where the City Sock 2s have already dropped, let me know which is your top pick, if any. That's it for today, S2W signing off.